Hi everyone, my name is Maddie and I'm doing a walkthrough for ZooVet. Okay, so here's the main menu, and I'll start a new game. And here you can choose what your office looks like, and here you can choose what your PDA looks like. Most of mine are locked, but I like... Leopard Lair, and probably Jungle. Hello, I'm Julia Sullivan, the head veterinarian here at the zoo. We've been short-staffed, so we're all very excited to have you come on board as the new vet. Come on in. Let me introduce you to the vet techs here. They're responsible for assisting you with the medical treatment of the animals. Yes, so if you need anything at all, you can just call on me, or us. Oh, well, we're all very helpful here. Oh. And hi, I'm Nikki. Nikki here will be by your side when you're treating an animal at the hospital. When you need to be at an enclosure. That's me. Name's Mike. And me? I'm Dom. And as much as I'd like to say I'm cheap cook and bottle washer here at the zoo, we can't forget about the animal's keepers. Oh yeah, they totally know what's happening with their animals. They're the ones who usually bring problems to our attention. You'll have plenty of time to get to know everyone later on. For now, you might want to head over to your office. I'm sure you're anxious to get started. Be sure to check the map on the wall to see which animals need care. I'll check back with you after each case to review what you've done. Good luck! Okay, so let's get started. This map takes you to all the animals in the zoo. Click on the map to treat or visit an animal and to play the tutorial case. Man, this lady talks a lot. Okay, so in this video, I'm just probably going to start with the tutorial to just basically explain how this game works, because personally, I do not think they explain it very well. I thought I'd give you a few pointers so you'd know how things work around here. First things first, listen to what the keeper says about the animal's condition. I noticed Gia Lee seemed to be limping around in the exhibit today. I think something's wrong with one of her hind feet. The next thing you'll want to do is ask the keeper questions about the animal. To see a list of questions, click the orange talk button. Right here. Once the questions appear, select only the ones that would be appropriate for the case. Try selecting the second question. Yes, this question would be good because it's about her health, and this question, uh, yeah, pretty pointless. Why are they black and white? Doesn't have anything to do with her limping. Does she have a favorite toy? Wow, these are, these questions are kind of stupid. <laughs> Is it lunchtime yet? That sounds really selfish, so this one yeah no problem there you should ask all questions which are relevant to your case each correct question you ask will add to your score you can find your current score in the top right there above the pda now click the done button in the lower right corner of the screen okay so yeah basically you just want to make sure that you click questions that have to do with what you're trying to figure out what's wrong with the animal and in when you're playing the real game, there will be five questions, just like these. Two of them will be um, bad ones to ask, like the silly ones. 
and three of them will be questions that you need to ask to raise your score and finish the case. And you have four chances to get the right questions. After you find out about what's going on with the animal, you'll want to perform a physical examination. All the medical equipment you need is available in the groups at the bottom of the screen. You'll probably want to start with the examine, monitor, and test groups first. To select a group, click on their icon. Remember though, if the situation is critical, start your treatment right away. You can go back and do a full examination once the emergency is under control. In this case, let's first use the magnifying glass from the examine group. Use your mouse to point to the magnifying glass and click once to pick it up. Did you notice that rolling over a medical instrument will make its name appear? Its description also appears on the right. Now let's take a closer look at this patient's foot. Click the hind leg section of the animal. Move the magnifying glass over the red area on his left foot. See that abscess? Look on the PDA to read about the results of each instrument you use. If what you did was correct, your point total will increase. Click the button there in the bottom right to return to the previous view of the animal. Click the button in the lower right corner of the screen. Okay, yeah. Um, before I click the button in the lower right corner of the screen, um, I just want to say something about the PDA. Okay, so for hints, on when you're on the easy mode, they'll always be um, in your notes. For info, you can look at the animal's like vital signs and just like uh, information about the animal. And notes is what you click the button in the lower right corner of the screen. Sheesh, lady, I'm explaining something. Um, and then for notes, you can look over what is what you've learned for the case and you really want to read those because at one point it will um it will say what is wrong with the animal and that will help you with your diagnosis at the end and it has very educational information and in the glossary you can just look up words that you don't know that might be in the info or the notes and also one more thing about the hints i have never played on hard mode so i don't really know what that's about but for normal you have to actually click the hint button to get a hint and if you do it more than once it starts lowering your score click the button in the lower right corner Sheesh, of the screen Sheesh, lady you let's try now? listening to this patient's breathing click on the stethoscope to select it now select the anterior or the front of the animal use the stethoscope you have and apply it to the chest to check the animal's breathing and pulse now you need to determine if the breathing and pulse are normal Select normal in the pop-up and click on the check. Okay, again, very bad description of what you need to do for this. Okay, so first you look at the respiration rate, 25, and then over here is the limits, 16 to 32. Okay, 25 is within the range, so that's normal. And for the post, you do the same thing. 56 is in between 37 and 76, so they're both normal. Good. Keep in mind, if you're ever unsure of what to answer, you can always select the patient info button on the PDA. It's the button there with the letter I. You'll be able to read about the species and compare its normal vital signs to that of your patient. Now click the button in the lower right corner of the screen. After performing the physical exam, you should have a pretty good idea about the animal's condition. You can then move on to the treatment phase, where you'll use the maintain, operate, and medicate groups. Surgery can be a little tricky, so maybe we should go over those steps right now. In the operate group, you have everything you'll need for surgery. Let's first clean the area, so select the antiseptic wipe. Okay. Now select the hind legs. Now we're gonna do surgery. Woo, surgery! Now it's time to prep the area with antiseptic. Use the wipe and clean the affected region on the left foot. Good. Now select the scalpel. That was a very unrealistic sound for an antiseptic wipe. Good. Now move the scalpel to the top of the abscess and drag downward until an incision the length of the abscess is made. Okay, now this part might be a little gross to some people because, well, we're performing surgery on a panda's foot. So, yeah. Here nice work. See that mass in there? It'll need to be removed. Select the tissue forceps. Now use the forceps to remove the mass in her abscess. 
Perfect. Better suture the incision to close it up. First select the suture kit at the bottom of the screen. Use the suture by clicking along the edges of the incision to close it. So yeah, not exactly the most pleasant thing in this game. Um, okay. Now, this part is really important, so when you're suturing an incision, you have to make sure that when you click, it says incision and not anything else. Because if it says anything else, you'll lose points and you'll get kicked off the case. Like, kicked off. Like, seriously. So, yeah, that wouldn't be very good. Excellent job. Keep in mind, if you're ever unsure of what to do, select the hint button on the PDA. It's the green button with the question mark. This will show you what your next step should be. When you reach 900 points, you can be sure you've performed everything you need to for the case. You should sign out. Try it now. Click the orange button with the check mark. Right here. What appears is a list of possible diagnoses for your case. Based on what you've done, you should be able to tell which is correct. Your score will reach the maximum 1,000 points if you choose the correct diagnosis. Select the third one in the list and click the check. Okay, so does this sound familiar at all for those of you who are paying attention to the PDA? Because look over here, same thing. And that's why um, it's not always going to appear as your, it's not going to always show up in the PDA as you're signing out. So you really need to pay attention and read the stuff on the PDA because it's really helpful. I'll be here after each case to go over what you've done. And at the end of your time here, if you treated all your patients perfectly, I'll have something special for you. I'm sure you're ready to dive right in. Get to it. Good thing Takashi alerted us to the problem right away. Proper cleaning and antibiotics will make sure she doesn't get a secondary infection. Okay, so yay, the panda's better, yay, yay. Okay, so don't you agree that, like, they should really include more information on how to actually do this kind of stuff? Because they just, like, told you what to do for that case, but... Yeah, I honestly don't think they did a good job, very good job of like letting you know how to do future cases. It took me a while to figure it out on my own the first time I played this game. So yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do for this video. I will make more and finish the game, hopefully soon. But for now, I'm just going to save and quit for now, but I'll be back really soon. Thanks for watching.